in this lecture, I'm just going to uh, reiterate the things that you learned in um, the those pogo activities. So I'm going to go pretty quickly. Um, and if you still don't um, get it at the end of this, I can have a little, um, couple little practice check yourself exercises at the end of this lecture. Then um, ask your teacher, and we'll uh, provide some more resources for you. All right. So um, basically, for the the alkanes, um, we can represent um, any organic chemistry using its molecular or any organic molecule using uh, the molecular formula, the structural formula, or the condensed structural structural formula. And you ought to be able to very easily go back and forth between these different types of representations. And the molecular formula, of course, um, if you just look at your basic alkanes, um, and you should know the names of these basic alkanes because we've seen them several times so far this year, but methane, um, ethane, um, propane, and butane, those would be what we consider the molecular formulas of these um, alkanes. The structural formula is when you show what is connected to what. The Lewis structures, for example, that's when we, we first started doing Lewis, Lewis structures, so we could see what is connected to what. And so, of course, that would be the, the structural formula for methane. You've seen that several times. Ethane, you're showing all of the um, bonds and what's, what's bound to what. Okay. Um, propane, same deal, only with three. And sometimes when you get to where you've got a lot of... Um, Hydrogens, you just, you know, the sort of short uh, cut way for the structural formula is you'll see um, chemists just drawing these little lines like this, and that's indicating that there's, you know, H's there, if not otherwise indicated. Sometimes you'll see an organic, organic chemist do that. Um, so that's propane right there, and then, of course, butane with four carbons. And each of the carbons is what we call saturated which means it has as many hydrogens as it can handle, saturated with hydrogen. Um, carbons tend to form four bonds, and so when they're in a string like this, um, one of the carbons has to be bound to another carbon, but when it's on the end, it's going to have three hydrogens, and if it's in the middle, it's going to have two hydrogens, and we call that saturated hydrocarbon. All right, and then um, what's new possibly is the condensed structural formula. Um, for methane, it just looks like, you know, the molecular formula, but for ethane, um, what, what the way the condensed structural formula, sometimes this is used in text when you want to show really what carbon is connected to what carbon, and the carbon comes first, and whatever is stuck to the carbon comes after that. So in this case, you have the three hydrogens right here on this carbon, and then the three hydrogens on this carbon, so it's written CH3CH3. For the, the condensed structural formula for propane, CH3, because the end carbon has, you know, three hydrogens, the middle one has two hydrogens, and then the last one has three hydrogens, would be written like that. And this is when you want to show, you know, what's connected to what. And then for butane, it's just CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3. All right? So that's different. The condensed structural formula is different than the molecular formula. It's sort of a hybrid in between the structural and the molecular formula. Gives you some indication of what's going on with the structure, um, um, as well as which atoms um, are in the compound. But it's written like this if you're like putting it in a line of text or something like that. You need to save space.